drama club. We always had a great time in the drama club. And I think that that year, the drama club, it was 1970, we did Brigadoon. And we had a little cast party afterwards. And I remember that someone brought in a beer. Now we're going back to 1970. Now a beer back in those days was evil. So I remember the party got broken up because somebody found a beer can on the counter in the kitchen. And that was the end of the cast party. <laughs> That's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> it's interesting. No, it's not bad. I mean, <laughs> One beer can. <laughs> Well, we're going back 1970 back then, so. <laughs> See, I if this was like, you would think it was around Prohibition, it's, you know, when this all happened. But <laughs> no, are they going to, like, edit this yeah. stuff out? Okay. Hi, I'm Jan Sadler Collier, the class of 64. Go Dragons. I'm Liz Levitt Newman, and I think cheerleading was the big thing I remember the most. And... Brunswick High School was just the greatest place to be. I'm Jan Lynch Minzy, and I have way too many memories to to say. Um, cheering, we were three of us here were we cheered. <laughs> our friendships forever. Mm -hmm. um, Brunswick High is our home. We shall never more roam. Right. And here's Paula. I'm Paula Black Steelman, class of '64, obviously. Uh, cheerleading, I remember. The people, I really remember. And the guys were hot, man, hot. <laughs> <laughs> and here's one of them right here. Yeah, that's <laughs> hot. I'm Harry yeah. Garrison, class of 64. And just like uh, Jan was saying, everything was built memories. So uh, there are so many things that we can remember at Brunswick High. And the people, I think, is the best uh, of all of it and, uh, because we make close friendships and uh, ones that we'll never forget. And that's why I come back every class reunion and every chance I get. Memories of band, all music organizations, uh, Snow Guard, um, and let's see, uh, walking to school with, and meeting up with people along the way and ending up with a whole gang on the way to school. I remember walking down the hall by the office one day and Mr. Tonin was there, and he wasn't really happy about some young man. And he took his sport coat off, and then he took his glasses off, and then he reached for the guy, and I turned around and went the other way. <laughs> I remember that, and I never misbehaved when Mr. Tonin was around. Uh, my memory is also of uh, Mr. Tonin. I skipped school exactly one day in my life. I made the cardinal mistake of walking back right around time for school to get out in order to meet up with my friends and who do I meet on the road but Mario Tonin and all he said was good afternoon Miss Black but he knew because he knew whenever anybody was out so he knew I'd skip school and I never did it again <laughs> oh god you know I really I can't think of one in particular uh, maybe the street you know we used to have street dances or uh, and one that I can remember vividly is that, of course, we wore like stovepipe stove pants back then, which were very tight. And we were doing a dance and doing the twist and, you know, how you go down and come back up. Well, I went down, the seat of my pants ripped wide open. So they stopped the dance contest, and I went home, changed pants, came back, and, and they must have felt badly. <laughs> they felt badly for me, so I ended up winning it. But um, <laughs> there, that was one of the things. I mean, there were so many, like I say, that um, just being part of Brunswick High School, uh, it was just a great thing. Yeah. Come on, Liz. I remember um, all of the kids going to Fat Boy after the dances. Everybody went. And everybody from Brunswick parked on the Brunswick side of Fat Boy, and everyone from Morris parked on the other side. And there was always a fight. Uh, before the night was over, blood was drawn, and but we all had a great time. <laughs> I also remember The Rock, yeah. and before the before um, the game against Morris, Morris would come over and paint The Rock. I don't know if it still happens now, but invariably it would happen. 
somehow eggs would get on Morris High School. I don't know how they got there, I don't know but I remember yeah. hearing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we don't have Sally here. <laughs> she tell all. Anything else? Well, just to cement the memories, um, the class of 64 still has a large gathering of 10 to sometimes 30 people who meet the second Wednesday of every month at China Rose, and that's a testament to our friendship through the years. It's been 45 years next year. But we don't look at We look no. a lot. Yeah. We don't even we look, look 45, <laughs> do we? <laughs> okay. Uh, my name's Henry Gregg, class of 1959 and came here from Topsom. And probably one of the most unique things I think about coming here to Brunswick High School was a bunch of us came from Topsom, some from Bodenham, some from Harpsville, Bailey's Island, Orr's Island, Gundy's Harbor. We all kind of met here. It was sort of like how the country came about. And then in Brunswick you had two or three different schools uh, involved, very different. Uh, St. John's Catholic school, uh, strict nuns, heavy on the knuckles with the ruler, and 25 pounds of books going home every night. I don't remember having homework in Topsom. <laughs> so, kids from some of the islands came from one, two, three room schools. We all came here to the same school, and I think it's quite interesting that we all wound up with about the same percentage of A students and B students, et cetera. But uh, why don't you continue? And my name is Kova Stockford Gregg, class of 59. Um, I came from St. John's School. Uh, I was there for from kindergarten through eighth grade. And I feel like Bud does, um, that it was, it was a great experience of, of meeting everyone from all the surrounding towns. And I made great friends here. And uh, it's uh, something that we continue every year. We come, uh, we live out of town, and we come up every every summer just to meet with our classmates, and uh, so that's great. And they come from all over, and um, so that's that's one of my fi fi memories that I can remember. We met in our uh, junior year uh, after a football game at a sock hop. And I was standing on the sidelines with a whole bunch of other guys watching the, watching the dancing and everything like that. And I saw this, this gal that looked pretty interesting to me. And, uh, but I didn't, do, I didn't do anything but waltz, only ha that halfway different. So decent. So uh, I had to have two in a row. I didn't want to ask her to dance and then wind up uh, having a, uh, a fast-paced dance come along and me having to, you know, sorry, right? I wanted to be able to just nonchalantly stand there and take the next dance. So Teddy Young was, was a football uh, classmate, fellow football in the football team, and I went and told him he needed to play at least three slow dances in a row. And he said he would get killed if he played it three in a row. And I says, well, on that play 20, two that comes across, the halfback comes across, you come right through my hole. I said, if you don't want me to block out the guy, I said, I'll let him kill you if you want. <laughs> so he played, okay, he played three slow ones, so I was able to look the hero, ask her to dance and stand out there nonchalantly and say, well, just go ahead to the next dance. So that's, that's how we met. Yes, and there's more to that story. Um, he, uh, I didn't know, I knew who some of his friends, but I, I didn't know who he was. And we danced, and after a few dances, uh, he asked if I wanted to go to Flat Boys for something to eat. Well, he didn't have a car. And so, I guess he went and asked one of his buddies. I didn't know this. We were in our socks then. We had to leave our shoes at the door. And um, anyway, we, <laughs> um, I agreed to go. And we went out, and we looked at, I looked at his shoes, and there were the biggest cowboy boots I've ever seen. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what did I get myself into? Then we go out, get in the car, go to Fat Boys, and then he tells me, oh, you can uh, order anything as long as it's a Coke. What had happened, that he 
forgot he didn't have any money with him. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of that story. And then everything happened after that. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, um, the teachers here were wonderful. Uh, it was great atmosphere. Uh, the, your creativity and being able to learn uh, was very encouraged. It didn't matter what background you were from. Uh, it, it was a great school. And all the um, students at that time were all, we were a fun class, I think. And, um, a bit on the wild side at times. I know. But, that, <laughs> but I don't think things change too much. I think students, you know, they, as, as the years go by, you know, they've had to put up with different things than we did. But, but we've had a good time here. And I think that it's followed us through all our lives, at least mine. Well, you didn't talk about we had a fun class. I remember my senior year, I was class president. And at least two or three different occasions, Mary O'Tonin invited me to the office. And he'd say, where is so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so? And so? I'd say, well, they may be at Popham, they may be at Black's Cottage, they may be. He says, take the school truck and go round them up and get them back here. <laughs> and. Uh, he was probably the best kind of principal for our kind of crew that I've ever could think of because uh, he could muckle on to you if he felt you needed it. He could give you a swift kick in the pants if he felt you needed it. And he knew in those days, if you went home and complained, you got another one at home. So there was no, <laughs> no, no fooling around. He was a great guy. And uh, probably some of our fondest memories are of some of the strictest teachers we may have had. And then, of course, we had those that scared the daylights out of you. My first day here, ancient history, Evelyn Crowder. Here I am, brand new from over to Topsom, went to school with 17 other kids year after year after year, all knowing each other. Most of our parents knew each other. Here I'm setting a brand new freshman. Mrs. Crowder stood up in front of the class. She says, well, you are all now freshmen at Brunswick High School. If any of you don't know where babies come from now, see me after class and I'll tell you. <laughs> and it scared the daylights after me, out of me, I'll tell you. <laughs> so anyway. Um, I just, he did not mention it, but Bud is, was our, is still our class president um, in our senior year. And that was kind of fun too, working on that campaign. And I also had fun I, I was on the student council that year, and um, I can remember the organization of Snow Guard, which our class. Yeah, we started. Our class we, started Snow Guard. Which was involved, and that was, and I'm so happy to see that it's still going on today. Right. And so that's the kinds of experiences that I had here, and I think we both had, and actually ended up together yeah. for our life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we see a lot of students now. I see students from St. John's, and are good friends with them other students that were from around Brunswick and from the islands and uh, it was probably one of the best things to happen to from small towners to come in and get a more wide open feel for everybody else like you go up in Topsom and you uh, you felt that you were something different something special or what have you or maybe not as good as others because it was a little small town and you came and you and you just mixed and you found out what it was like to make these new acquaintances and learn a lot from other people. Yeah. It, was, it was interesting, it was good, yeah. enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah. I'm Doris Sandin Neiman and I'm a graduate of 1957 from Brunswick High School. We were the 100th class to graduate so we really had a, a good time. Uh, we had a big celebration and uh, we just had our 50th last year and uh, we bought a new bench for the high school that we put in the new pathway that you have behind the big stone. And uh, we just put a plaque on the rock out there also commemorating those students who went to Brunswick High School that died during the Korean and Vietnam Wars. So we did that memorial to them just recently. But I'm a student of St. John's. I went there for eight years and then came here to uh, Brunswick High. And uh, for me, it was a totally new experience because I'm French. And coming here to Brunswick High School was a new experience because everybody here spoke English. And we were off